Okay, now that we know how to change and customize our UI colors, create custom shelves, create custom marking menus, and setting custom hotkeys, I'd like to talk a little bit about saving and exporting uh, these preferences that you did or that you created for yourself. So we can go to preferences before we leave alias and I believe alias will save on exit as well so if this step is missed you should still be okay but I'm going to save preferences that way I know they're there next thing I want to talk about and why I want to talk about this is I'm in alias 2022 I am now going to upgrade to alias 2023 um, although you have the option to copy old preferences from version to version that is not recommended. Going from alias 2022 to 2023, you should be fine. But we, in the past, users were in alias 2016, copied those preferences to 2017, 27 to 2018, so on and so forth. That will usually cause your preferences to become corrupt because we make so many changes to alias. So the best thing you can do, export your preferences and then reload those preferences into the newer version of alias. So to do so, I can go to preferences user preferences instead of save I'm gonna go export that built on a screen off so we'll move that over so it's gonna ask me where do you want to or what do you want to call them I'm gonna say uh, getting started with alias and it's gonna save those in my user preference folder under 2022.2 and preference sets We'll save those. Now I'm going to launch my new version of Alias, which is 2023. Again, it's building off screen, so let me pull this over. But this is the uh, warning that I was telling you about. Alias is going to give you the opportunity to create defaults or copy over your olds. I always recommend create defaults. Let Alias build its preferences for that version. And we have the workflow, again, off screen. Um, I'm just going to choose default. And alias will pull you over to this screen here. So now we can see alias built its default preferences. Everything about alias that I wanted to change is now back. Um, I can simply just reload those preferences. So if I go to preferences, user preferences, import, it's automatically going to look in alias 2023. So I'm just going to click on alias to back that up. Go to alias preferences 2022.2, preference sets. My getting started with alias set is there, and I will open that up give alias a second and it now built everything and put this alias in the exact state is my saved alias was. So this will allow you to build or allow alias to create its default preferences so you're not going to get corruption and you can import everything over as far as your user colors, marking menus, hotkeys, what have you. So any changes you make will go from alias to alias. So again we've covered the UI colors, customizing those, creating custom shelves, creating custom marking menus, setting your customized hotkeys, and then moving those preferences from one version to the newer version. I hope you enjoyed the session. Please play around with Alias and make it yours. Thank you.